Warm weather and a lack of rain in some areas across our state has some folks on the alert once again watching for those drought conditions we talk so much about. 13's Brent Palmer looked closer at how it affects Northeast Kansas. Hey David, we've had a little rain recently, but was it enough to make a dent in the drought conditions around the state? I checked with experts about what a drought is. Drought is a, a period of abnormal precipitation and usually combined with heat as well that stresses vegetation and typically uh, expands just beyond uh, short term tends to be a little bit longer term. Over the period of time we went without rain, we were in the D0 category on the U.S. drought monitor map. This meant that we were in an area of concern instead of a true drought. The Manhattan to Topeka just went about 10 days without a really good rain. We had less than a tenth of an inch every day. Um, we were just starting to see some initial ground starting to dry out, starting to see some cracking of the soil. Um, that's the first stage of drought. One of the first indicators of drought is a negative impact to agriculture. The industry tends to be the most sensitive, making it a reliable bellwether. And we can have drought develop very quickly because we need, like this time of year, we need an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of rainfall a week to keep up with the, the, the vegetation demands and the water supply demands. While it's hard to say that the droughts have worsened due to climate change, the frequency of droughts have increased. We are getting warmer temperatures, and so warmer air can hold more moisture, which means when it rains, it rains more. But the problem is that we're seeing more more drought in between these heavy rains. What worsens droughts is the lack of runoff going into the ground, which is due to human infrastructure. Keeping up with that infrastructure and making sure it absorbs water is important. You could do your part as well. Probably the, the easiest is just limit our irrigation needs. Uh, people like pretty green grass, understood. But uh, at the same time, that's we, we can utilize that water for other resources coming a drought time. If you are interested in helping to report possible drought in Northeast Kansas, you can act as a citizen scientist. More information will be available on our website. Good information tonight, Brent. Thanks.